to present the award to Dave DeBusher in his enshrinement ceremony here is Willis Reed, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys. Dick, thanks a million. I read that just the way I gave it to you. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, it is indeed a pleasure for me to be here with so many very distinguished people who have made such a great contribution to the game of basketball. A game that probably, if I was able to gain as much knowledge as these gentlemen who sit here in front of me and both sides of me, that I would probably be the smartest basketball person in the world. And I think they have given a lot to the game. Um, I had a long speech, but uh, the Bush <laughs> took it away from me uh, for some reason. I think there are only a few things that I have to say about the gentleman. Obviously, for me, to have a chance to play with him really was the reason I became a star. Because what happened was I played forward and I had to pass the ball to the center all the time, who was Walt Bellamy, and never got many assists for it. But when, <laughs> when they traded Walt Bellamy for Dave DeBusher, he became the passer and I became a star. <laughs> and um, I really owe a lot to him for that, and I appreciate that. Um, the other thing was that um, they were saying what a great player I was. See, I didn't have to play much defense because, uh, well, Bill was a pretty good defensive player. Bill was the great kind of player every coach likes, one of those guys that never left his feet. <laughs> and uh, the Busher was a great player because he's a tremendous rebounder. And obviously, on certain nights, uh, he and I would, he would get the rebound, come down, I put my hands on it, take it away from him, and they'd give me the rebound. Boy, see? <laughs> so I became a good player because of that. And I, Dave, I really appreciate that. Uh, uh, to, tell, to tell you the kind of player that Dave Bush is, and I'm going to make it very short, is that if you read his book, The Open Man, in my estimation, and everybody who's ever played the game, everyone I've ever talked to say, Dave DeBusher is a man's man. Now, when you see a little boy at three years old drinking beer, you know he's a man. <laughs> and those are probably one of the tremendous things about Dave. Um, that's the only habit he had that he didn't teach me. Uh, he felt like I need to go home and get my rest at night. And, but I really had a tremendous time playing with him. And I think Bill really put it very distinguishes the fact that we were a group of people who came together for a common cause, for a common reason, was able to achieve a goal, and obviously a goal that New York as a basketball town, the city, if only had achieved twice, and we were happy to be a part of it, and I'm glad to be here with this night. Uh, it is my pleasure to present Dave Bush for induction to the Hall of Fame. Thank you. of your election by the authority vested in me by the trustees of the May Smith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame, I have the distinguished honor to enshrine you as a player in the Basketball Hall of Fame with all the rights and privileges. Congratulations, Dave. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank you. Okay, super. <clears throat> Thank you very much. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, and honored inductees, uh, this is a great evening for me, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But I learned two things tonight that I never knew before. Number one, that I got Bradley to carry my bags. <laughs> you remember that? That I made Rita star. And so, <laughs> Was it? I got pretty, two pretty tough accomplishments when you think about it. Anyway, why I'm honored tonight is I, I have a feeling that we're all, we all walk a different path in life. And when you, you're lucky enough to be able to perform in a profession that you truly enjoy, one that you truly want to be out there doing every day. And as a kid, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to play sports. I particularly wanted to play basketball. I was very fortunate. The good Lord was very good to me. And he gave me the athletic ability to compete. I was very fortunate that my parents were very good to me. I was very fortunate that I had good coaching. 
and I had great teammates, and I was lucky enough to play on championship teams. And those were great thrills. Tonight, to be honored by people who have done much more than I have in the profession that I chose is a great thrill. It is a great thrill to be recognized, not by peers, but by people that are more than your peers. And I think that makes me very proud. And that is one, I'm not naive enough to think that Dave DeBuscher made a tremendous impact on the game of basketball, collegiate, professional, or anything else. I'm one of thousands and hundreds of thousands of kids, people, men, that have made a major, much more of a major contribution than I have. And I think about all the people, the coaches that are never recognized because perhaps they didn't reach the startup, but had such an impact on helping everybody else along. The officials, the trainers, the league officials, the commission, the, the various aspects that go into what this great sport is all about. And to sit here and hear that next, well, in a year and a half, Basketball is going to have the greatest Hall of Fame in the world. It makes me very proud to be a part of it. And all of the people that have contributed to make it that great deserve all the credit and praise. I think one other thing I, I say that, that I am very proud tonight and honored that uh, not only am I up here with teammates, fortunately four teammates, that we shared a championship together. But I'm lucky enough to bring together for, well, it's been a long time, my wife and my kids to see this tremendous occasion. If they're right over here, and I want them to stand up. Stand up. Michelle, Peter, Dennis, who's asleep, and my wife, Jerry. And also, I'd just like to say that I'm very fortunate to have together for the first time in a long time my mother and my four sisters. Would they stand up, please? Barbara, Sharon, Judy, Marcia, and my mother. Thank you. You know, we all have come to points in our lives where we have to make a career decision. Bill mentioned uh, his mother and father didn't want him to be a, uh, an athlete or a, uh, a politician. I, uh, I didn't have much of a choice. I was either going to play baseball or basketball. <laughs> uh, I, I was torn between making that decision. Uh, I had, was fortunate enough to play four years of professional baseball and at the same time play professional basketball. But I had never achieved the level that I achieved or was a part of until we got to New York. <clears throat> and at the time, I could have said, well, baseball was an easier an easier road for me. I didn't know which way to go, but you let your instincts and you say a prayer, and I think back what would have happened if I'd have chosen baseball. I never would be able to be in the Hall of Fame in basketball, and I consider this one of the greatest thrills of my life, and I thank you very, very much.